Time now this Sunday morning for the boot room, a special boot room, boot room with a transatlantic twist as we head over to our colleagues at Sky Sports and our Premier League insider, David Ornstein. Now, David, I mentioned before the break, you broke a couple of stories this week, both really big. We'll get to Bielsa in a second. But first, Liverpool, we all woke up to the news that apparently John Henry wants to sell. What's the latest on that? Yeah, this is a seismic development, Rebecca, because Liverpool are not only one of the biggest Premier League clubs, but also one of the big clubs, biggest clubs and institutions in world football. And I revealed on Monday of last week that FSG, Fenway Sports Group, the owner of Liverpool for the last uh, more than a decade, have decided to put Liverpool up for sale. Now, they have always been open to possible investments over the years. Only last year we saw them sell an 11% stake in Fenway Sports Group, which of course includes Liverpool, to Redbird Capital Partners. However, this time it's different because they would be open to a full sale of Liverpool. And a full sales document presentation has been prepared for interested parties, of which I'm sure there will be many. Liverpool, or FSG I should say, have also contracted the banks Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley to assist with this evaluation process, to ascertain their value, who may be keen to take up this opportunity. And of course we don't know how this is going to end. We don't know if it will be nothing at all, whether it be a partial sale or a full sale ultimately. But multiple sources I speak to about this say that FSG are intent on selling the club, which could have major ramifications for Jurgen Klopp, for the team, and many questions for the fans who will want to know where they might be going. Now the wheels in this are, are in motion for this by the fact that Mike Gordon, who is FSG's president and in day-to-day -day command at Liverpool, he has stepped back from his responsibilities. Billy Hogan, the chief executive, will be taking more on. And Mike Gordon, although it's seen as a natural evolution, will be working, focusing on the sales process. There are reports here of uh, an Indian businessman, uh, Mukesh Ambani, one of the uh, wealthiest men in the world, being interested. And there will be loads more besides. But FSG will only sell to who they feel are the right party. And I don't think it will be imminent from what I'm hearing. It is likely to take time if it happens at all. But that is the big news here. Liverpool are up for sale. OK, David, we'll keep an eye on that. Now, let's turn to Bournemouth. Marcelo Bielsa, you said this week on social media, is being lined up to take over at Bournemouth. Of course, they sacked Scott Parker. But Gary O'Neill's done a really good job but continues to just be an interim manager. So, Bielsa, is he coming back to the Premier League? Well, this is a fascinating prospect, isn't it, Rebecca? Bournemouth have been without a permanent manager since Scott Parker was sacked and Gary O'Neill has taken the job on an interim basis. He's been doing quite well. But the news we revealed is that um, Marcelo Bielsa is a target for Bournemouth. Bournemouth are exploring the possibility of appointing the Argentine who was sacked in February by Leeds United. He did an incredible job there. He will long be remembered as a hero because he ended their long wait to get back into the Premier League. But it wasn't going so well. Jesse Marsh came in and he saved Leeds from relegation. Marcelo Bielsa has not been in work since and his name was not linked with Bournemouth at all. But the Bournemouth hierarchy went out to Las Vegas last week to talk to their prospective new owner, Bill Foley, who is on the verge of completing his takeover of the club. He's just waiting on the results of the owners and directors test that the Premier League run. And the Bournemouth hierarchy were discussing this very subject. From what I hear, they were lobbying Bill Foley to back this idea. And we established that he definitely is among the candidates who Bournemouth are considering for this role. Uh, reports have since emerged that weeks of talks have taken place with Marcelo Bielsa and that he's the only external candidate for this position, with the internal candidate being Gary O'Neill. Will they continue with him? That's a big decision for them to make. But it would be quite something. When you speak to people around the game, they are quite surprised about this because of the setup that Marcelo Bielsa comes with, the infrastructure that he needs around him from the training ground, the sports science, the data, the finances as well. But Bournemouth clearly feel that with the World Cup break, if they were able to get him in, he could perform a mini pre-season, a very fit squad they've already got there. Maybe he would come in and get even more out of them than uh, Gary O'Neill has been doing. So nothing is confirmed. I don't think it's advanced yet. But yeah, that is the shock news somewhat that Bournemouth are exploring the possibility of appointing Marcelo Bielsa.
He is the man with all the scoops, with all the breaking stories. Our very own Premier League insider, David Ornstein, on this morning's Boot Room. Our thanks, as ever, to David. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.